This is Roshi. He is a one and a half year old Mississippi map turtle and the inspiration for the world's first YouTube powered robot. Before I show you what this thing looks like, let me show you how it works. The bot has a camera inside Roshi's tank that streams a live video feed to YouTube. From YouTube, I or anyone else watching the stream can control the camera by writing comments in the live chat. If someone types left, the camera will turn left. If they type right, it'll turn right. It can go forward, backward, down, and even up out of the water in case you want to see Roshi on his rock. There's a link to the live stream in the description so that you can actually go and try it yourself. Now you might be wondering, how was it made? At its core, this is just a Raspberry Pi 3 hooked up to a camera module and some motors. Because I work as a software engineer, writing the code to make this work was relatively straightforward, but the hardware part wasn't. I haven't actually built anything physical or wired up any electronics since middle school shop class. So just getting the motors to spin took me longer than I'd like to admit. And it gets worse. With a project like this, typically after wiring up the electrical components, you want to design a frame and then cut it out of wood or plastic using professional tools. That's obvious to anyone who's a DIY enthusiast, but I'm new to this and in case I haven't made it clear, I have no idea what I'm doing. So what I did instead is I went to the dollar store and got cardboard, chopsticks, microwave covers, paper cups, and a bunch of other random stationery, and I ended up throwing together this absolute mess of a prototype. Just to give you an example of the hacky craftsmanship that went into this, I didn't know how to make a waterproof casing for the camera and cable, so I just passed the entire thing through a long piece of poly tubing that I closed off on the end with a heat seal. This machine isn't pretty, but it works, and Unlike the sloppy frame, the software behind this is something that I actually am proud of, so let's talk about that. The code is made up of three main parts. The first is a script written by Alex Ellis that runs on the Raspberry Pi. And using a program called FFmpeg, it encodes a video feed from the camera module and streams it to YouTube. The second part is a Node.js server I wrote that uses YouTube's API to track the comments on that stream. It checks for certain keywords and when it finds them, sends out commands. The third and final piece of this is a Python script running on the Pi, which moves the bot around by turning on and off different motors based on the commands it receives from the node server. There are links in the description with all of the code. I know some of you prefer to be walked through how to actually write it. Don't worry, that's coming next. Actually, there are a couple things that I'd like to do next with this project. First of all, it could use a much better view. Right now, the only place I can run this in is Roshi's 75 gallon tank. It would be really interesting to use a much bigger space with lots of different kinds of fish and other animals. That way, people anywhere in the world could share a beautiful, immersive experience, almost like virtual scuba diving. Maybe one day I'll meet someone who can sneak me into the Vancouver Aquarium one night so I can run it there. Or, maybe it'll be someone else who does it. And that's why the other and much more important next step for me is to show people how to make something like this and I've already gotten started. I'm working on an article and video tutorial to show you how to build your own YouTube chatbot using JavaScript. Mine sends commands to the bot, but you'll be able to get yours to do whatever you want. It'll be ready in just a few days, so if you don't wanna miss it, make sure you subscribe. In the meantime, those of you who would rather just copy the code, it's all out there, so feel free. If you just wanna see the bot in action and you wanna see what Roshi's up to, I'm gonna have it streaming as often as I can over the next week or so. So check the description to see the next time it'll be on. I hope you found this interesting. Hit the like button if you did. And if you want to learn how to code or become a better developer, or you just want to see the random interesting things that I make, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.